Because enrolling a patient is the first and most important step of the membership process, we've made it extremely difficult. I'm kidding, it's just like everything else we do. Super simple. The first step is to familiarize yourself with the two enrollment methods. Internal enrollment, where you enter information provided by the patient, or external enrollment, where the patient accesses enrollment through your website and self-enrolls. As you may have guessed, you access the internal enrollment form by clicking Add Member. The form has three sections. That's right, three steps start to finish. Were you expecting something complicated? No, 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 it's not complicated. Whether you're on the Contact Info tab entering their personal information, the Add Memberships tab selecting their membership, or the Checkout tab entering their payment method, this is all information that's provided by the patient. On the internal enrollment form, the patient is either on the phone or standing in front of you. Simply prompt them for each piece of information, enter it on the form, and you're done. Or, if the patient prefers pen to paper, click Printable Enrollment and have them provide the information that way. In either scenario, it doesn't get any easier. And the best part? The external enrollment form is exactly the same. Okay, okay, not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. I've got three small differences for you. First, on the contact tab, the password and confirm password fields. These fields can be found on the external enrollment form, but on the internal side, an email is sent to the member once they complete checkout, prompting them to create a password. Second, on the checkout tab, the in-office payment option will only appear when processing annual payments in the office. This allows you the ability to offer cash, check, and HSA options on your annual membership. However, these methods don't automatically renew. So maybe lead with the credit card and bank draft and only offer these other options if specifically requested. Lastly, again on the checkout tab, these checkboxes will only appear on the external enrollment form. Instead, on the internal side, you will click and print the membership agreement. Have the patient check the boxes, sign and date, then scan that document into their chart. Once completed, you can process their payment. How you feeling? Overwhelmed? Let's do a quick recap. Members can enroll with you in the office or on their own, and either way, this is a very simple and straightforward process. Credit card and bank draft can be used to pay for any membership, but if they're enrolling on an annual plan in the office, they can pay by cash, check, or HSA. Lastly, at home, they can check the boxes to agree with the terms and conditions. However, in the office, they'll need to sign and date their member agreement, which you will scan into their chart. And that is enrollment with your Dental HQ membership plans. Three minutes well spent.